In this video, I'll show you how to swap Binance Chain to Binance Smart Chain on Trust Wallet, also known as BNB to BNB Smart Chain. If you're new to this channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, consider going and leaving a like as well, as it helps get this video to more people. So in this guide, I'm showing the full process of changing your BNB to Smart Chain, and I do hope you find it useful. And I just need to give a quick disclaimer. Basically, I am not a financial advisor, nor is this video financial or investment advice. Please do your own research on any investment you make. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. As you can see, I'm now on my phone, but this guide is going to work on any device as long as you've got Trust Wallet, so an Android, a desktop, an iPhone, they're all going to work. So of course, the first thing we want to do is go and open up Trust Wallet, so here we go. As you can see, I've got zero BNB, but that doesn't matter, I'll be still showing you how to do this. So as you can see, we've got BNB, which is this normal Binance chain, and then up here, we've got Binance Smart Chain. So if you want to go and use BNB on a website like PancakeSwap or another exchange, it needs to be Binance Smart Chain. Binance Chain, such as BEP2, isn't going to work. So to go and transfer it, all you need to do is simply go and click on Binance Chain. It's got the lighter logo, just like this. Then it's going to take you here. Then all you want to do is simply go and click on Swap. Then you're going to have these options here. Trade BNB and swap to Binance Smart Chain. So you want to go and click on swap to Smart Chain, just like so. Then as you can see here, you can go and type in the amount you like. So if I were to go and transfer one, you then go and get one for one. But a quick note, if you only have one BNB and you put one in, you're going to go and get a message when you go and click swap saying you do not have enough BNB to cover the fees. So to get around that, you can't go and use 100%. You may need to go and use 95%. You may have to go and use 99%. It depends how much you've got. But the Binance fees tend to be between sort of zero and five dollars. They do vary depending on demand and supply, of course. But that's the main steps you have to go and take. Just make sure you leave enough BNB for the fees, as otherwise you won't be able to go and swap it to Smart Chain. But guys, if you found this guide useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I look forward to catch you in the next one. Peace.